All right, Jeremy here again. Um, we're going to show you how I did my uh, my mega tree. It's uh, it's built with a 60 foot stackable Ron tower. Um, obviously, this is going to be an extreme build, um, but I've had a lot of questions on how it works, how I did it, um, and uh, I, I've kind of uh, tweaked this myself over the last well, 10 years or so um, since I've been putting it up. Uh, this year I have it going, um, what would that be, uh, horizontally, up and down, and then I have a spiral, a channel spiral that, that spirals around the tree, um, obviously with the star at top. Um, but uh, take a look at the video. This might help with uh, building your mega tree, whether it be, uh, you know, a more reasonable one, uh, or you know, if you wanted to uh, get something that uh, that is uh, as tall, uh, 60 feet or more, uh, the concept really works. Um, I would always prefer to go straight to the ground, um, but uh, since it is a temporary structure um, and I don't concrete it into the ground, um, I always like to fasten it to the house. And uh, when I do that, I find that it looks better if it's floating or suspended above above the roof line. So take a look at the video. Um, and uh, Merry Christmas. All right, my mega tree is actually a tower, obviously. Climbable Ron Tower. We've got that up all the way. It is just under 60 feet tall from the ground up. And my tree floats. It doesn't come all the way down to the ground. Not by preference, but just for my design. And then what I've got here is eight ropes. They're all the same length got them all pieced together. This is what will hold the ring, my hexagon ring made out of one inch PVC at the bottom, which and then I turn, and in turn I hook all my Christmas lights to. Alright, this is from 60 feet up. This is the top of my mega tree. I've got eight ropes coming down. Sorry about the wind. It's a little windy up here. I've got them all tied here so I can adjust the length make final adjustments once I get the lights on and you'll see and I'll take you down to show you up close that the ring they're tied at the corner of each that's a hexagon it's eight pieces eight 45 degree angles it goes all the way around okay <clears throat> down at roof level here this is swaying or being held up from all the ropes from the top. And what I've done, this is one inch pipe into a 45 angle. I've actually marked each uh, coupling with the pipe so next year when I need to use them I know which ones go where and have just put in um, a little bolt with an eye hook so I can tie the rope. Now this way is right now and if you don't guide this down obviously it'll cause uh, some problems if you get a high windstorm so eventually I will, got, I will uh, bring more rope to tie it here to the center of the tower. These ropes use, uh, work as good guides to uh, attach the lights whichever way you want to go. If you want to go vertically up, if you want to go wrap them around, which I'm going to do, and, um, and or a spiral all the way up, which I'm going to do as well. Alright, here's your mega tree. It's night time, I figured the best time to, to show it. Um, See if I can turn on the light here. All right, what we did here, we have rope, obviously, as seen in the video before, um, divided that among the channels, or the, the length from the bottom to the top, divided that among the channels that I have. I have three strands of lights per channel, and eight channels total, going all the way up. And then I do have um, a spiraled uh, going it up. The biggest key with spiraling is just keeping the distance all the way to the top. Um, and that is how we did. It's hard to see in this light, but it's basically just zip tied on. And this is uh, from the inside, obviously. Watch the videos of uh, our show to see how it looks from the street. But it worked uh, really well. Just make sure your spacing is the same. Zip, stri zip strips are, are good to hold the, the, uh, the lights in place. Um, and that's it, it's 60 feet up. There's the spiral as you see.